this video, we're going to show how to edit content online in ClickView. In order to do this, your administrator will need to enable collaboration for the sheets and objects that you want to work with. At the end of this video, I will show you where that can be done. Assuming the security has been set up correctly, all you'll need to do is right click and click copy on the object that you want to edit. This is going to enable you to create your own object that's a direct copy of the object that's already been created. You can either paste the object on the same sheet, or you may want to go to a separate sheet and paste the object there to keep all of your custom objects in the same location. Once you paste the object, this is an object that now is owned by the user who's logged in. However, it is still connected to the entire data set and will update with the rest of the data, whether a selection is made or the data is actually refreshed in the background. To edit the object, you can do it in several different ways. Go up to the repository, and from the repository, we can simply grab a dimension and drag it on to change the dimension being used inside the chart. So we'll grab country in this case, and we'll just release it on. We're then asked what, which dimension we want to substitute the new dimension for, or if we want to add a new dimension. In this case, we're going to change dimension one. And now we have the same visualization, however, it's now split out by country instead of being split out by quarter. You can do a whole lot more than just swap dimensions out. We also can right click and go to the properties and we have full developer rights into changing the visualization however we want. In this case, the bar chart. If I wanna change the expression, I can again use the repository and grab the expressions and perhaps grab number of orders, I simply drag that onto the expression uh, area of the chart properties, and that will add that expression to my visualization. I can then also remove other expressions, so in this case we'll delete sales amount. And now my chart's updated, and it's showing number of orders by year, by country. If I go back into the properties, I'll also point out there's a whole lot more we can do. We can get into the granular detail of how we want the chart to be displayed, what the presentation is going to look like, and we can even change the caption, menu items, and so forth. In addition, in the, in the caption area, we also can enable the fast change type. So if we wanted to change this chart, let's say from a bar chart to a straight table, we can enable that fast change, and then we'll get this two chevrons up in the top right corner of the chart. And that's going to enable us to change the chart to a different chart type. And of course, we can change it back. And which chart types are displayed is totally dependent on which uh, fast change types have been checked. Finally, if I'd like to share this object with anybody else, you can go to Options. and I can share object. And then I can choose to either share the object with everyone, or I can share the object by named users. And this will enable other users import this object to their individualized view. If you need to enable collaboration for a particular app or on your server, you need to go to the QMC. This will be done by administrators. First, we need to go to system your server, documents, and allow ser server objects. That will allow the ability to create objects on the entire server. We also need to enable this on individual documents. So we also to go to the Documents tab, User Documents. We'll select the document that we want to allow the creation of server objects. And the creation of server objects can be controlled for either all, all authenticated users or specific users for each document. Again, this would be done by the administrator of the ClickView environment. Mm -hmm.